Collaborating with me in the commentary box is Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Hi, right, Dennis. Great to be here. Hitting the turf today will be Gold Coast and the Saints. and killed it are coming down the race the look ready and rearing and the crowd are right behind them here they come Umpire tosses the coin. Gold Coast winning the toss. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little unruly and maybe take matters into their own hands. Nothing like an opening bounce, right, Richo? Both teams have a fine balance of inside grunt and outside silk through the midfield, and a defence that's growing together. I can't wait to see how this unfolds. Armitage kicks. An easy grab for Nunes. Gets boot to leather. Strong mark. He gives it a punishing kick. Nice work from Wits. Kicks it long. And the mark will be paid. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. And over the boundary line she goes. The umpire says, throw it in. The ball has been tossed in. Long it decisively. Going for goal number one. Gold Coast had one to their tally. Miller getting his first right there. The game officially underway now. Miller can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Miller loves that. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Good bounce. Wits has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Collar Jasny lines up. He gets boot to the ball. Lynch with the ball. Lynch drives the ball towards goal. Chalk up a goal for Gold Coast. He sinks his first goal. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. St. Kilda in trouble. They need to get a move on. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Smiles all round. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. And there's the bounce. Wits nicely outclassing Longer. Lemons picks up the bouncing ball. Great mark. Kicks it. A great effort. Gets boot to high. That was all blinds. Sends the Sharon on its way. Taken by Savage. Savage. He's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. He hits it. Tack. Longer. Picks up the ball. He gets the hand pass. He's kicked it out on the full. Puts boot to ball. Day having no trouble taking that one. And the ball crosses over the boundary. The umpire will toss it back in. Wits punches it. He gains possession. Rosett gets the hand pass. 
Kala Jasny with an easy mark. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. A solid mark from Donegan. A monster kick will be required from here. The ball is slammed towards goal by Donegan. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. Long it thumps it forward. Gains possession. He takes control of the loose ball with the ball now. Well, it throws it clear as day. Young taking aim. Young slams one on the boot for goal. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. There's already some distress for Kitson killed it. Stevens will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Going for goal number one. Score for the Suns. The first goal for Donegan. The Suns have scored the last three goals. Pressure already being applied to the Saints. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Celebration time after that one for Clonigan. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball is bounced. Long at Bitzer. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Weller. He's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. It gets tapped. It gets tapped. A clean pick up. Puts boot to ball. It takes a strong mark. Jams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Good drop punt by Steven. Ball over the boundary line. It'll be a throw in. Both Ruckman battling for the front spot. Witt's not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Good tap from Miller. Akins. There to mop it up. Akins. Aims for his man on the ground. Clean tap by Webster. Webster taps. Robertson collects. Guided down nicely by Robertson. Good tap from Sexton. Thompson bumps. Tap by Swallow. Tap by Nunes. Swallow gets the tap. Robertson gets the tap. Harbro taps. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Has it now. Longer with the football. Tap by Longer. He collects the loose ball. Booted by Rosa. Good mark by Ross. Ross is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Bruce mops up the ball. He boots it. Harbrook spills it. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Rosa takes the uncontested mark. He gets boot to the ball. Miller with a strong mark. A rush kick. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Kicks. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Puts boot to ball. Mate has it. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. 45 meters out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. 35 meters out. Good chance here for Lemons. Lemons. Launches one towards goal. The Suns by 20 points. Stevens waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. 30 meters out. Lonigan going for number two. Goal for Lonigan. Gold Coast by 26. Lonigan. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. He's enjoying that goal, and why not? The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Witz with the hit, gains possession. Webster with the interception, hits the running man. Robertson with the tap. Gilbert aims for his man on the ground. Akins with the tap. Gilbert wears his heart on his sleeve, and he just bleeds for this footy club. 
He clears the ball. He gets a fist to it. The ball is tapped. He knocks it down. The ball is tapped. Akers with the ball. The loose ball is collected. He boots it. Rosa gets the upper hand. Slams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Richo, how well are these teams performing? Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contests. Nine to five. The second term is underway. Persistence can change failure into extraordinary achievement. Takes possession. It's a ball up. Long it with the tap. Gilbert gains possession. Sends the Sharon on its way. Harbro taps it. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. They've conceded possession. He's got the football now. Long it is streaming past and gets the footy. These possessions just keep ticking over for wits. Rosa puts it on the boot. A mark by Collar Jasmine. Nice drop punt. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Lonigan will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Deft touch from Glemons. Wits taps it. Stephen with the mighty fist. He picks up the loose ball. Going for goal number three. He'll be happy with that. The lead has been increased by Flanagan. Gold Coast have scored the last five goals. The Suns leads by 32. Gold Coast boards are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Suns midfielders have had complete faith in their boards and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Lonigan loves that. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Tap by Wits. He collects the loose ball. The spilled ball is collected. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Works it across the ground. Nice work from Sexton. It's clear that the Suns have been practicing their marks during the week. They've racked up plenty of catches, contested or not, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Lynch getting into position for the kick. He gets boot to the ball. Lemons with a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. Miller with great hands. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number two. Score for the Suns. A second goal in the bag. The Suns in front. Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Long it is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Wits. He controls the bouncing ball. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Sexton looking to make them pay for that turnover. A clean pickup. Hand passes. Kicked by Weller. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Plays it across half back. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Bumps the big skin. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 35 meters out. Lynch with a relatively easy shot. Off by a matter of centimeters. The Suns beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 39 to 0. Stevens. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Sending it on its way. Weller gathers the ball. The umpire will toss it back in. Cleanly tapped out of the ruck. He slams that on the boot. It's a mark. Sending it on its way. Armitage marks it. Low spearing kick. Long it presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Marked by Gilbert. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. 
goes towards half forward. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. 25 metres out. They desperately need this goal to stem the flow. St Kilda get there first. That replay shows just how good that goal was. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Long it aims for his man on the ground. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Tapped by Lynch. Clean tap by Young. The ball picked up. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. They say you miss 100% of the shots you never take, so hopefully he can just shrug that one off. Stevens would like to think he hits all his targets, and for the most part, he does that. Has the mark all to himself. He kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. Gresham slams the ball to his boot. Puts boot to ball. A great mark under pressure. Webster boots it. Longer marks it. A rushed hit. The mark is taken by Rosa. Rosa has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Puts boot to ball. Lemons claims the ball. Lemons has a kick. It's on its way. Sends it home with a huge kick. He sends by 40. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Long it really gets onto this one. Gilbert with the hand pass. Boots it. A mark by Nunes. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. And the fans are riding this one home. Miss for behind. Fair to say that'll have little impact on the scoreboard. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Swallow has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. Geary with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. He kicks the ball. Nunes with the mark, lining it up with the goal now. This game is slowly slipping out of their grasp. They must convert here. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in the fish market. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Nunes gloves that. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Carlisle with the hit. Robertson kicks it out of congestion. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Gets boot to high. Throws it up. Boots it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Gets boot to high. Gilbert takes the mark. Testing shot outside the 50. Time to check the stats, Richard. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. Both teams fairly close in the tackling stats. The Suns, 13. The Saints, 12. Thank you very much. The halftime break is over now. Back to work. What to do with a mistake? Recognise it, admit it, learn from it, 
then forget it. He gets another possession. Intercepted by Armitage. Gilbert onto the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. It's like he has the ball on a string. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Gilbert with the goal, and he runs back into position. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Clean tap out of the Ruck. Lemons made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Rosa collects. Holds it too long. It's going to be a free. Heads up the corridor. Hanley with the tap. Long it aims for his man on the ground. Deft touch from Bakers. Armitage aims for his man on the ground. The loose ball picked up. Tapped by Lyons. He gains possession. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Rosa puts it on the boot. A mark by Guller. Bumps the big skin. Takes it well. Webster is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Gilbert kicks it. Great hands. Billings lines up. Billings with a kick at goal. Billings did well then. Gets his first. That's three in a row for Tim Gilbert. They're making a charge for the lead. They'll have to get some more points on the board, though. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Celebration time after that one for Billings. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. Long had got the hit out. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Witz slams it on the boot. Marks. Lonigan just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Looking for another goal here. Is it high enough? Long enough? Straight enough? The Suns will be ascended to Evicts and killed it, leading the match 52 to 25. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Lonigan loves that. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Long attacks. He controls the bouncing ball. Intercepted. Gets boot to high. Billings marks. Choose to kick it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. St Kildick haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. A goal to St Kilda. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punch by Wits. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Ball up in the center square. Long it with the punch. Young with the mighty fist. Short handball from Webster. Intercepted. Lyons delivers a nice bump for Armitage. He receives the handball. Witz feeds it wide. And over the boundary line she goes. 
A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Wits can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Gets a handball to the running man. Wits has got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Puts boot to ball. Gresham by hand. He wants it back. Sending it on its way. The ball is out of bounds. The Ruckman jostle for position. Right out stretches his opponent to win the right. Tap by Nunes. Carlisle with the tap. Akins taps it. Sockers the ball away. Grabs the footy. He's searching for his teammates. Good mark on the run. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Hastily kicked. Marked by Savage. St Kildick just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Robert and didn't waste the opportunity. He cuts the ball off. He gains possession. Rosa with the kick. The mark will be paid. He slams that on the boot. He can't bring that mark down. He lays off the pass. Sending it on its way. Geary misses the ball. Geary picks it up. And the ball is out of play. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Wow, some of his hits border on felonious assault. He boots it from the pack. Tap by Sexton. Off the ground, Gilbert sends it out to space. Nicely intercepted by Bowler. Willock runs past and gets the ball. Lynch presents and takes the mark. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Webster takes it well. Webster needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He kicks the ball. Robert, just the better man in that contest. Puts boot to ball. Nunes with great hands. Boots it. Nice contested mark by Gilbert. 45 metres out. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. A wasted opportunity. And behind at this stage will do little to improve their position. He's searching for his teammates. Geary claims the ball. 30 metres out. Going for goal number two. If that post was a couple of centimetres thinner, it would have been OK. Not enough help gained from that kick. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Great mark. Opportunity for Geary. Kicked at goal by Geary. Almost, but not quite. The Saints won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Plays on. Gets boot to Weber. Strong mark. Kicks. He shouldn't have bothered. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Thompson looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Rosa grabs that one. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard, with the Suns on 20 and the Saints on 19. St Kildick and the Suns are close in handballs. Neither team appears to have a distinct advantage. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richo. players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now it ain't over till it's over first hand's important gilbert picks up the bouncing ball the umpire says give it to me 
Witz not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. He gets a kick out of the pack. Stephen Marks on the run. Kicks it. Marked by Robertson. Robertson is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Gilbert marks the ball. Gilbert shoots for goal. It's in the air. Hit the post. That's a behind. The Saints in trouble. Swallow looking for a lead. Ball crosses the boundary. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Lions with the football. Miller receives the ball. Gilbert has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. The Saints needs three goals to get back in this. The Suns just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. Gilbert shoots for goal. Score for St Kilda. There's one for the time capsule. Gilbert chose the goal and fire the right signal. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here's the bounce. Long it aims for his man on the ground. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. I reckon my mum could have caught that in a pin. Very quiet by his standards. Akers got under it. Jams it on the boot. Armitage takes the mark. Jams it on the boot now. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the pig. Sexton has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Cuts towards the middle. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. The Gold Coast big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50 with most of the, the Suns scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Miller boots it. He grabs it. Young boots it. There's no contest for that mark. Kicks into the forward line. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Webster just wanted it more then. Stabs the ball. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. No contest for that mark. Lyons sends the ball on its way. Miller grabs that one. If the Suns big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the Gold Coast scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Lemons has a kick. Misses for a behind. Stevens has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Gets boot to high. It was all his. Willett with the kick. Wits, the better man there, kicks hurriedly. Young marks it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. 40 meters from home. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Stephen clearing it out of defense. Great grab. 45 meters out. Lynch with a low spearing kick. Well, the Saints haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Armitage kicks it long. Gilbert with the mark. 50 meters out. Gilbert shoots for goal. He holds his breath. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. Far too many points racked up for just one match. Swallow has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Thompson takes the mark. He lays it on the boot for a giant kick. Nice hands. Kicks it across the ground. That kick was asking a bit much of Gilbert. And the mark will be paid. Gets boot to high. Nice mark there. Wits is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Weller with the interception. It's been cut off. Armitage hand passes the ball. Longer boots it. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The umpire says, throw it in. 
It's a good throw in. Long it with the tap. He takes control of the loose ball. Tapped by Gresham. Gresham guides it. He's heading for home. An easy grab for Nunes. He kicks it. What a move. Geary. It looked impossible, but somehow he made it possible. Geary for the second goal. Geary got a really good football in Brian. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Geary happy. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Punched by Wits. The bouncing ball is controlled. Hands it out to open space. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Lions with the kick. Lynch marks. A monster kick will be required from here. A 45-degree angle for this kick. He takes the shot. I see it, but I don't believe it. A second goal in the back. The Suns beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 59 to 50. I gotta say, that's even a better goal the second time around. His face says it all. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The ball has been bounced. Long it decisively. Bounces favorably for Bakers. Finding the running player. He has no trouble grabbing that one. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. A 30-degree kick for Nunes. Gilbert. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. Real disappointment for fans of St Kilda. As a player, a small cog in a machine, the principle is competing against yourself first. It's about self-improvement, about being better than you were the day before. Final scores are 59 to 51. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richard. It was great to be here, Dennis. I'll be back next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.